Like, I don't think Ice Spice has 50 songs out. Complex just released the top 50 New York rappers of all time. Number 50, Ice Spice. The list is trash now. Hey, yo, here's this thing. I don't know if I should be mad at Ice Spice. I don't think Ice Spice wanted to be on this list. I don't think Ice Spice even knows that she's on this list. Yeah, I know that these websites be struggling for clicks. So what they do, they put some wild, outrageous type of content in the magazine, something they know that's going to trigger us, and they just put it out, and hopefully it'll catch fire by real hip-hop heads debating on why she's number 50 on the list. This is New York. 50 greatest rappers of all time not of tiktok not of the last five years not with orange hair not with afros this is all time in order to be 50 greatest of all time anything you gotta have 50 of that thing like i don't think ice spice has 50 songs out if you were the top 50 paper airplane maker i would at least think you have 50 airplanes out bro i think top 50 boxers of all time had more than 50 fights like you gotta like this gotta make it make sense like y'all be letting this tiktok go wow so maybe it's just the whole totality of being a rapper you look at somebody like black thought black thought might be able to rap better than dipset but he have bigger impact on rap as a culture you know with the with the rap the style the dressing the clothes everything that dipset bought in they, they changed the game with just how they they whole wave of how they how they how they did things you know what i mean so they could be talking about that as far as the new york rappers greatest of all time so they could be talking about that as far as the top 50 of all time see jay Z's number one and you get into the nazis and the greats in that top 10 bracket and then they got like um styles p at 46 and i'm like yo d block and styles p kind of crazy impactful on the gang like anytime a rap group came in and changed the way hip hop was dressing at that time. I feel like you impacted the culture, yo. Like D Block, one of the people that bought into the, the prison dicky suits. You know what I mean? That whole vibe of just dicky shirts and rapping and hardcore, that Philly rap, that New York rap, that 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 tough street eating ramens out of the pack type of guys. They that's what they came with. You know what I mean? So they kind of did change, shift the culture in that way for the super tough rapping dudes. You know what I mean? When that was popping before the uh, Kanye's and the Drakes and, and the Ja Rules, everybody came through singing you know 52 52 we know you were singing you know 50 was a tough singer you know what i mean he was the type of dude that sing to your girl but he also chew people so you just gotta you gotta take that l you know who you yell at her in the car like you already gonna fight 50 for singing if i was your best friend because he his best friend is a pistol you know what i mean um but still though all after all that that i just said i'm still pissed off at the fact that you putting people who don't even deserve to be here like you messing up the game of hip-hop because you're not giving people who not there a chance to get there because you putting them there if that makes sense like you're not giving ice spice time to realize she's not that good to get better y'all understand what y'all doing when you take somebody who just started rapping who kind of adds and then you be like yo you put them with the greats you do that long enough they're gonna start thinking they are great they're gonna start thinking they belong there there's nothing wrong with ice spice having confidence in herself but it is something wrong with her thinking that we believe when she believe about herself you feel me when it comes to them bars baby you're the much you're the much